Hello, this is Grant, and this is episode two of the Dead Rising 1 Master Run. Came down to the security room, and I saved there. I'm going to be cutting out all the saving and the loading screens as well, because there are a ton in this game. I think in the first episode, I it was originally ten minutes long, and it felt, went down to like six or so, when I just cut out all the scenes. It's pretty crazy how you have a 30 second cutscene to a 30 second loading screen to another 30 second cutscene. I think it might have just been because it's a pretty new game for the system when it came out. Xbox had only been out a very short time frame. So you compare it to like games that come out on the 360 at the very end of its cycle. The developers are a lot more used to working on that and think they can hide loading screens better, figure out how to load things faster. Uh, it's just part of the game. It's almost a feature, <laughs> just how iconic that is for the series. You kind of just like tune them out after a while. They're just like small little blips. They're all over, but I guess it's much better than having one long one. So Frank's going to head into the entrance plaza and we're going to see how zombies get in the mall for the first time. There's actually no way to fail this. If you die to the zombies here, Otis will save you and you go straight to the security room. That's the best way to skip this, so to speak. But we're going to actually play through it. There's one thing that matters. is There's one survivor here that has a shotgun. And we're going to start it, grab it, and then we're going to end the cutscene. I don't know if that was meant to be showing how people go crazy during this whole zombie thing or just setting the comedic tone for the game. Man, Frank's creeping really hard there. <laughs> I think it's more set up again the where they talk about how the zombies work. Frank learns what's going on. It'd be great if they had a little trailer or cutscene that actually took place before the game, showing how this all spread, what happened, how did Carlito choose this particular town. So many questions. Or just like what other parts of the town look like. Because in theory, how many zombies are out there? They can't all be at the mall. Are there some people who are just like holding up in buildings, the high rises and whatnot? <laughs> I like the subtle part where he just ruins all Frank's pictures in this whole cutscene. That guy may seem annoying, but I'm sure he's the only reason a lot of these people are alive. There's some great dialogue from some of these survivors that you won't hear otherwise, just because they're... Spoiler, they're all going to die in about 10 seconds. We're going to go ahead and start off this trigger. We see a... Foreshadowing for Dr. Barnaby. He's an important NPC down the line. He's the origin of all the zombies. For being a doctor and a pretty smart dude, he doesn't seem to figure it out. I mean, he obviously would have seen these zombies before. So if they're here and he got called here, I think he knows. She would know what's kind of going on. It's interesting to note that the zombies don't seem to care about the dog. I don't know why that is. I don't think the zombies are actively looking to spread this, the like larva, I guess it would be, not a disease. But at the same time, I think they're just hungry for flesh, so I think they would eat the dog no matter what. I don't think there's a case for any other animals in the game. Very brutal. What in the hell are you people doing? Run! Quick! Move! Get over here! Everyone, move this way! Quick! To the stairs! Move! I wonder how the zombies got out of the mall. Or I should say out of the entrance pods, because it's locked down right now, and until you come back to it with Brad later on. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this baseball bat and a trash can. Retrospect, probably should have grabbed the bench. The goal is we're going to get up to this crowd of zombies. The dude with the shotgun dies immediately, if not already out of the cutscene. 
So we just need something to kind of break down the crowd. As you can see, we are level one, so we're pretty slow. We can't throw very far, and it's going to be pretty tough these first few levels until we learn some good moves. So my goal here is just to throw the trash can right in there. Works very well with benches. Fortunately, it breaks immediately. For most zombies, just going through mobs, just go at them. In this case, none of them really seem to notice me. I can just keep going, and I'll push them out of the way. Once you have the shotgun, we can just go ahead and move out. There's nothing else of value here. There's actually no way to save any of those people.